Yesterday throughout people were waiting about the changes that will be announced by the Canadian Immigration Minister but actually the announcement was done in the evening. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Pawan Speaks Canada. I hope everybody is doing well. So in this video we will be talking about five big updates such as the first one is post study work permit. Will that be moving from three years to five years? What is the decision that is done on capping for international students? The third one is about LOA. Uh, it is about the incident that has happened about 700 students in the past. And what is the decision that has been taken on it by the immigration minister? In the coming year 2024, from September 2024, what all changes will be there in with regards to the recognized institutes? Are they cutting on immigration targets? Also, will this be done in November only? So there are five big announcements that were done and I will be discussing all these announcements in detail. So please watch the video till the end. There are a lot of things about the future in Canada, whether it is about immigration or study visa, and you will be able to understand all this in a better way. If you like the video, please share it and also please subscribe to my channel so that you are updated about all important changes in Canada from time to time. So all these announcements were made by the immigration minister uh, yesterday in Sheridan College. Although it was already declared in the past that regarding study visa, there would be a lot of changes which will be happening. So the first important thing that was announced is that as per the new criteria which will be rolled out that all the institute in which international students will be taking admissions, the LOA will be verified of that student by the IRCC. They will verify the letter of acceptance that is used by the prospective student who needs to apply for a study permit. In the current situation, this practice is, is, not, is not done and it is only done in case there is any doubt. Then they contact the university or college. But going ahead, whatever LOA is issued to student by any college, will be verified very carefully and properly. So this is itself is a very big change because going ahead from now, there will be a direct communication between the IRCC and institution. And in case uh, there is any suspicious activity, which is there that will be captured. The next update is about PSW, that is post study work. So once you complete your studies, then you get a work permit in Canada which is called as an open permit, work permit. And this update is regarding the same. So there were questions asked to them that, that there is a petition which is there in the House of Commons with signature of nearly 16,000 people regarding the same. So what is the decision that has been taken for this petition? It has been asked that the student who completes two years of study, they should be given five years of work permit and the student which completes one year of study should be granted two years of work permit. Currently, what we have, we have three years of work permit for students who complete two years of course and two years of work permit for a student who complete one year of study. And regarding this, the petition was signed. Uh, with regards to that, he said that the post study permit has not been reviewed for last 10 years and they are continuously working on the same and whatever shortages that we have in terms of resources, they will bring all the trades and businessmen into confidence and look out for a solution for the same. This is actually a positive sign. There might be a possibility that this petition can be applied straight away or could be a possibility that there are certain trades that are very much in demand such as healthcare or STEM category and in those trades, the students who complete studies, they might be granted with a longer work permit. So this itself is a very big update. The third point is about the big level of changes in study visa in Canada, which is about to happen soon. So I have already prepared a video on the same and in case you want to watch a detailed video, I will also leave a link in the description. They have stated that they will be coming up with recognized category of institutions and in case those institutions meets the condition that has been laid down by IRCC, they will make them a part of that list of recognized institute. 
The benefit of this will be that the student who gets admission to those recognized institutes will be given priority. I want to tell you one thing that here that before the STS category, there used to be an SPP category, which was called as student partnership program. And in that there were around 47 colleges and the processing time was very fast compared to the non SPP category was better than SPP category. So in case there is a list of recognized institutes, which will come in this process, the results of institutes who fall in this category as compared to other colleges will be better. But they have also said that they are working out on the same, how to roll this out. But this has been clear that this will be effective from the fall. So that means it will be from September 2024. So at, at a very big level, there will be changes that will be happening in the study permit. So institutions that are good, they have quality education, a better teacher student ratio, and more number of domestic students. There were more conditions into it, which I have already shared in my other video, please watch the same. The students who are admitted to such colleges will be more benefited. Next, I will talk about the news which everybody was scared and I was also concerned about the same that they might be putting up a cap on student visa. But on that, they have cleared that me and my team member and our government are not in favor of capping and we are not coming up with any capping. They said currently whatever business model is operational and nearly 25 billion has been contributed by international students in Canadian economy and they will not be shutting down on the same. And this itself is a big statement till now. We were thinking that in case capping is introduced, then it will be a major problem, especially for Indian students. But they have cleared that there will be no capping, but in the near future, keeping everything in mind, such as what kind of immigration is required, what kind of workers are required, what framework will be used. They will be working on all those factors and they will see in the near future how they can make it more better. But right now they are not introducing capping and this itself is a great news because students were worried about capping. But this is clear now and whatever more changes will come, you will get to know in the near future. The last plan and the last update is about immigration plan that they have for, from 2024 to 2026. They will be announcing the new immigration plan in the month of November. But if you talk about the previous immigration level plan, around 1.5 million was the target by them to give immigration or permanent residency. But right now, as we have housing crisis, economy crisis, and just because of that, there was a thought that they might be cutting down on immigration plan. But we also have a good news in that. Also, they have said that whatever immigration plan we had in the past, we are not cutting down on the same. Uh, we can only think about making little changes in terms of categorization. There could be a possibility they reduce something in economy class and they might shuffle in classes, but they are not in favor of reducing immigration target. And this is a great news for people who want to apply for PR within Canada or outside Canada. So these are the five updates given by them. And just to give a quick recap, the first thing, there will be no capping, but there might be changes that they will be bringing up soon. For PSW, as this is very important, they have not given any negative answer on that. But in the near future, they might see that it is getting moved to a five year work permit. In case you like the video and you feel that this video should be reached out to all people and you find this information valuable. So please share the video. Thank you for watching Pavan Speaks Canada. See you soon in my next video. Thank you.